hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful card which has got a cross in the background and some beautiful lilies on the front now the lilies are all paper including the stamens and i'm going to show you how to make all of them it's really quite easy and how to do the cross in the background there as well which is also very easy to do i just thought this is going to be an easter card but i'm sure that you could use it for other occasions too so let's get started and i'll show you how to do it so what i'm going to do is start with the lilies but not finish them completely because there's a i just need them to dry to be honest so what we're going to do is just get the um two little squares of paper now these are two inch square what i've used so we're going to do two inches of square and i'm going to zoom in a little bit hopefully that's a little bit better um i've just got a, like a china plate here because obviously i don't want to put the ink on my mat now i'm just going to color the center you don't have to do this all i'm doing is just popping a little bit of ink as you can see just a little square of ink on a china plate and you can use tile your glass mats acetate anything like that and then just get a little blending tool and just fill load your blending tool up with the ink and then just in the center of these two inch squares only and you can see i'm only touching light because as you can see there's not much going down and this paper is 100 gsm printing paper it's um, HP, I think. So I'm just going to pop that down like this. Just get a bit more ink on that. And that's all you need to do for that. So it depends on the paper that you're using and what you can colour these with. So you could use ink, you can use pro markers, um, watercolour, crayons, all sorts of things. Anything you've got in your stash, really. So then what we need to do with these is just fold them into four. So we're going to fold them in half like that. And then fold them over again, like so. There's one. And two. This is going to make one lily. Like that. So it's really simple to do. You don't need any dyes. You don't need anything, punches or anything like that. Now, I just freehand cut mine and they were all different. Because flowers, let's face it, they all look different. So don't be... You know fussy about this so you've got your opening here and here so this bit here is the only bit in the center of that square that's joined so make sure you've got that down the bottom here so just where everything's joined so that's basically the center there you're just going to come up leave some space don't go too low you need to leave some space and then just curve it around close to that point now if you go close to that point every time then you're going to have the same sort of like size length of petal if you like so they'll they won't look too odd so we're going to come back in and cut that one so there's one and this will probably be totally different shape but it, like i say you don't need templates or anything for this it really doesn't matter just checking that my fold is in the middle there pointed down towards me and then just do the same thing come along and cut that down now if you look at these two completely different sizes i'll turn it around really jaggedy edges and completely different sizes and they're all like that all the ones i made on the card you might have thought wow and that is the way you're getting <laughs> that's all there is to it so i'm gonna open these up like so now what you need to do with each of them okay is just come down so what we're going to do is we're going to cut can you see that one's a bit shorter than that one so i'm going to go on the shorter one so you cut to the middle on one side now you do not cut over there you just do not cut over there up that side but you are going to cut that petal so you've cut down here separate that one i'll just move it out of the way so you can see that we're working on this one so you're not going to cut that off what you're going to do is turn it into a tab so that is from where the cut you've gone and this is any old circular movement to get it back to that point there so you've basically just made yourself a tab that has a cut in it okay i'll do it again on this one just open up your lily like so and then cut down to the center 
and then don't be tempted to go over there <clears throat> and cut a tab it's this one you've just cut <clears throat> excuse me bit of props on it. I'm like, of all the times to have asthma, I haven't had it for weeks. Go on to YouTube, get asthma. So you can see there we've got a tab which is cut and that's really important. Now we're going to join these two. So they're just waste. Get some glue. And on the right side, we're going to glue a little tab please work it's gone and bonged up it's gone and bonged up I've got a pin here bear with you're just going to pop some glue onto that tab there now this where you cut there is going to go to that join so it's really easy because you've got a plus sign there but you're going to come around and make sure that's in place and then that when it's on that fold so it's going to be on the same fold as that tab so you just need now what I like to do I've got glue on my thumb finger thumb <laughs> you just bring that around like that pop your finger just put my nail in there and I can then I can rest my other finger on it and that will take there so just going to let those dry <coughs> excuse me honestly same thing again so you're just putting glue on the right side of that little tab you've just created you've got the cuts on there and you're going to bring it around the back of the cut piece so that the fold is in the same position as it was but now you've only got three petals and then you just pop it around the back. It's got some dirty on it. Pop it around the back and hold it in place. And you can see it's quite pointy. Quite a pointy thing which we're going to knock down in a minute. But I don't want to do it yet. I need to let that glue dry. So I'm going to pop them out of the way for a minute. And then we'll go on to another part. I think I'll show you the cross actually. So, while we're waiting for those two to dry, we'll do a bit of cross, then we can do another bit, and then come back to it, etc, etc. So, I've just used string. Now, it's entirely up to you what you want to use. You could use ribbons, you could use paper, you could use anything. I'm just going to zoom out a little, but I've chosen to use string. Now, all you're going to do, now, I, I've looked at wrapping it around seven times, seemed like a good thing for me to do and what I did was I just put a bit of tape it's sort of like a temporary thing really just to stop the string from unwinding near to the area where you're going to start so that's on the back I just hold it in place for a minute otherwise you'll be there all day go back to the floor. and I did seven wraps so one oh dearie me Two, I'll take that off in a minute. Typical, isn't it? That could be the bottom of the card. Gets covered up more. Two, three, try not to bow your card. It's easy to go like that. You don't want to do that because if you pull it tight, then it's not going to lay flat ever again. Four, five, don't get a knot. Be good. Six. Seven. <laughs> it was not being helpful, was it then? Not helpful at all. Right, and then you're just going to move them all up together in a bunch. Like that. Come around the back. I'm just going to secure this bit as well. I'm only going to put tape on the top and then I can move it around. Take that off. And then you just want to get it into the middle as best you can. Like so. Go all into the middle. And then we're going to wrap the other way. So if you've got a bit that looks better one way than it does the other, and you want that to be the bottom and that one to be the top, then that's fine. Now you can see they're a bit wavy, but when it goes onto the card, they're going to get become tall. So they will, and they're going to get covered up quite a lot. Now if you wanted to, 
you could put something in there to keep it. It all depends what you're using, really. Um, just unravel this a little bit. And then what I did was go around exactly the same thing. This string's going to be in a knot, isn't it? That's just typical. So typical. Right, turn it over. Secure that string again on the back. Roughly where you're going to be going. Otherwise, you'll just be unravelling constantly. And then, just pop the string on the back like so. And we're just going to wrap around. So, you want it to be kind of like a square there, really, to make it look good. So, if you get it a square in the first place, and you can see then straight away that the centre is out of sync. And we can still move it. Six, seven. Let's check. One, two, three, four. Yep. I can still count. Still got it. Take that off. And again, I can move this if it's um, ruining the look, so to speak. But let me just show you what I mean. So you can see that once we started doing that, this side is definitely longer than that side. But I can still move this over to get it in the centre. And you can measure as well. But because of all the flowers and everything you're putting on there, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter too much. And then what I like to do is put foam tape on the bits that are not string because you've got that height of string on the back already. So that's going to make it not sit nicely on the card. So all my cards, it's going to be secured onto my card with foam tape, the whole thing. going to put just in the areas where there's no string and you can see I'll never cut my tape on the back neat a lot of people will but you won't see it if you want to that's fine but I don't <laughs> and then now you know it's in the right place you can just put some tape over the top of there onto the card base I'm going to move that one over a little bit See, that's why I did that because now I know where it's going. I don't want it to be too like making it bow on the other side or anything. So you can just secure it like down through the middle there. I'm not taking the backing off of these, it's literally just securing the string in place. That's all I'm doing. And I might just put one across that way, like that. Just holding it all together so now you've got your beautiful cross on the front and you've got your foam tape now just for measurement sorry i made a seven by five card so this is six by four so i cut this piece of card to six by four and then i cut some miri to six and a quarter by four and a quarter so that's just going to sit onto there which i probably won't do because you know me i'm all about the um just about showing you how to do it so you're just going to mat that onto there so it's only a quarter of an inch bigger so you've got an eighth of an inch either side and then that evenly gets glued onto the front of your card with even border spaces okay so that's how you put the card together but we'll just work on this i've shown you what to do for that and i'll finish it off after so we've got that that's that part now i'm going to show you how to make these um Stamens, there we go. It was in there somewhere. So what I'm going to do is take a long strip of paper. Now this paper is three quarters of an inch. Okay, it's only three quarters of an inch. Now, actually, before I do that, I'm going to these should be dry, so I'm going to glue these together. It's just trying to get the timing right because otherwise we'll be waiting for these to dry in a minute. So what I do is I've got the end of a, a brush here, and I'm just going to squash that pointy bit down gently now it's glued so it will sit better in a minute and um, that helps for putting the stamens in as well that it's a flat bottom you see i've crushed down that just crushed down that pointy bit that's all i've done there just dented it so that it sit better with the stamens inside of it and then all i'm going to do is just glue those two together and put them aside again so we'll do that put that one to that one and just let them sit down and have a little rest just make sure that they're off offset like so you can see they're completely different sizes which i'm glad of and then you could just take and 
your implement again just to make sure it's they're touching the glue's going to work this type of paper it depends on what you're using on how well it glues and things like that that's why i'm doing it in stages and then we're going to move on to our three quarter of an inch strip of a4 that is paper i'm going to take a piece of double-sided tape to find the end of it which is the hardest part probably <laughs> really <laughs> i don't think i've ever had a trouble finding the end of this tape before tonight never mind right so i'm just gonna overhang it a little bit because i want it to be at the bottom and i know that this is finger lift tape so it's got a bit of a border on the tape and you're going to go all the way to the end so you've got a strip of double-sided tape on there this is getting you to do all the stamens and more in one foul sweep so you haven't got to mess about always do it like this because it's just so much easier than fiddling around with little bits of paper and then i just took a pro marker and this is quite a bright one because i wanted to use gold but it ran out typical so i'm just going along there like that as you can see i'm just using this to protect my surface it's just a bit of card like that it doesn't have to be fancy clever or anything and then on the back we're just going to go along and do exactly the same thing uh, i'm using a pro marker like i say you can use whatever you like it's entirely up to you. you don't have to colour your flowers but you can do what you like you could add a strip of paper on there if you wanted but that would be fiddly i'm not going to do that and there we go so we've got a whole row of stamens that we can cut now what i did and i'll cut the end off because the tape needs to be right to the end so what i did was i cut i'll do it at an angle i've got a bit of rubbish on my scissors Still got a bit of rubbish up my scissors. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to cut little strips. Okay. I'm just going to cut little strips. And if you position your scissors that you're not going to go too low. And if you cut it off, you do. Don't worry. Two. And I did. I think it's 14. About 14. Five six seven eight nine i mean it's more than what's in a flower but you just do it to you one of it about 13 and then you cut all the way off so you've done your whole strip and then you can go straight on and do the next flower so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's enough like that that's all you're doing so it's really really simple for you to get a whole load of stamens done in one go and then what you do with these is you take off from be from the other side because i've ripped into that you just got to take off this back in a bit of paper like that so you've got your sticky on the bottom and then you're just gonna you can use your pokey tool to get you going if you want you're just going to roll it like so just that's that bit that was on the scissors now on my thumb now oh wow there's a bit of foam tape in it so you just get that going and it's a little bit fiddly but just roll it as tight as you can make like a little circle like so see there it's all because you had the tape on it it's now all rolled together now don't splay it out and get it all nice and everything we're going to go back to the lily which is hopefully dry and we're going to just curl the petals now what i do is i just curl one at a time like that just get it going and then i curl down more so i just get it smooth the paper so it sort of breaks the paper fibers down and then curl it break the paper fibers down don't pull too hard you don't want to break it and i'm just rolling you see what i'm doing i just roll back and forth my thumb and the pokey tool and the paper so i've got pokey tool paper thumb 
like that. Again, just curl it to start with. These are the top petals. They've all got to be done. I think when I made them actually, I think I did this bit before I glued them together, but I needed the glue to dry, so I did it in a different order. You might find it easier to do that. And then you've got your flower, and you can just pop it into your palm of your hand and just push down the middle. So you've got your lily all done. And like I say, they're, they're all different. So when it gets pushed up, it's going to look very different. They all look different and it's really cool. And then you just take some PVA type glue. I'm using the Pin Flare uh, book binding glue. And like you can see this paper shiny. It's what I print my inserts on on my Etsy cards. And then we just pop that in the centre like that. So you don't have to poke holes in these lilies. You can see there's like a big blob of glue in the base there. And that's going to dry. It's PVA and it's going to dry. So you want your lily to, if you want to prop it up, stand it up. Now this one is dried. So I can go straight into the next section. And then all you need to do is just get your pokey tool in there. Just display these out. Now, if you've got those like flower stamens that you've been buying and things like that, obviously you can use those. But I wanted to make this accessible for everyone so anyone can make it. You just need a bit of string, some paper, glue and a bit of patience maybe. And just spray it all out as much as you want. Go with your fingers. And then you've got your lily. So all you need now are leaves. So with leaves, just take some green paper okay now this paper i know for a fact when i crease it it gets um it breaks and the fibers break inside of it i'll show you what i mean i'll just and all i'm doing is i folded a bit of paper in half and this is probably way too wide wasting paper and just cut like a curve okay now see what i mean the fibers have broke on that paper and it's left a white mark down through the middle and i think if i did that enough it would just pull apart and break but because it's a leaf, I think it adds okay. It's like a vein, so I'm not worried about it. And then you just make loads of these strips. And you go in and you make as many leaves as you want for your cross. And then I'll show you how to arrange them on the cross. And they're all different sizes. There's no pattern. There's no nothing. They're, like I've, got, I've cut up a load here and you can see they are all completely different. Everyone's different. And then all you need to do is take some glue or glue gun. I'm hoping this glue is going to dry quite quick because the other glue I used didn't. So I'm going to come down across the cross and then just sort of like that. And then all around this area and I'll probably need more in a minute. So I've just put a whole load of glue down and then I'm just going to place my leaves just all across the centre. And there's big ones, there's little ones, all sorts of sizes. And they're just going to come down. Now what I think works well with this is if you do one, two, three. So you've got like that shape going on. And then you can go directional on which way you want your lilies to go. Now if you just want them grouped around the centre or just down the bottom, go for it. This is just, you know, showing you how I did what my end product was. So, take a bit of glue from there because there's none left. And then that way. These leaves look quite a lot bigger than what the other ones were. There's a little tiny one there, look. I told you, random. Go over that way. Put glue off that one up there you can see i'm just randomly placing them now, if you want more of the cross to show then obviously don't put as many on as i have and then i'll have a look i wish they dry because i really need them to be dry but they're going to take a while aren't they i'll see if i can place the lilies on there we'll see how it goes so i've made five in total now like i say it's up to you so you can don't glue your lilies on yet just place them where you think they'll look nice so they're just going to go across, down the side, and then come back a little bit. So almost like, I suppose an upside down question mark. 
that's a really random description but you can see then once they're glued in place you've got the makings of your card now if i bring the other card in you'll see that everything was hand cut all randomly okay on both of these cards and they all look different the, the leaves are different the petal sizes are different the stamens are all different but you just don't know do you so have fun making this guys and like i say once you've glued them on pop that onto your gold pop that onto your card and then you've got your second card done so it's not going to take you very long at all it's a really fun little project so pl please you know like subscribe share and have fun thanks for watching guys bye